Vector calculations. Let's go into the vector menu. Item number five. First we have to define vectors. Let's define two vectors. We'll define vector A and vector B. Start with A. Select a dimension. We'll stay with a two-dimensional vector. This vector will be have components of 5 and 10, or 9, I'm sorry. And we'll define a second vector. So we'll define a vector B, also two-dimensional. We'll go from 6 to negative 4. All right, let's see what we can do with those vectors. We'll go into options. We've already defined the vectors. We can edit the vectors. We're going to do some vector calculations. And there's our universal constants. So let's go back to vector calculations. Let's do some addition of vectors. So we'll do vector 1, or vector A, plus vector B. Go into options, 4. There's your result vector. Uh, subtraction works the same way. Other options include, we can do the dot product of two vectors. So the dot product between vector A and vector B. So we're taking our vector answer in this case, and we're going to go ahead and say that dot product with vector A. The way you do a vector A dot vector B is if you start with vector A, and then we will go options, toggle down, do dot product with vector B. Other options, angle between, so we can do the angle between vector A and vector B. So we say vector A and vector B, we're going to use the comma, which is right there, right above the right parenthesis, and we'll do vector B. So what is the angle between vector A and vector B? There you have it. Again, we're in degree mode. You can change the mode if you wanted to be in radian mode. Calculating a unit vector. Unit vector for vector A. There's my unit vector for vector A. There's a quick overview of vectors.